and welcome to Death and Destiny. This is another legendary first look. Today we're looking at this wonderful scout rifle. This is Galen's Demise, something like that. Anyway, it's an Iron Banner legendary. You had to hit level 5 on Iron Banner last week or get this in a drop to buy this. Well, you had to hit level 5 to buy it or you had to get it in a drop. I didn't see anybody getting these in drop, so I hit level 5 and I bought it because I love scout rifles and I wanted to see how this one performed. So this is Galen's Demise, a scout rifle. Let's take a look at it. A marksman's weapon forged in the fire by the Lords of the Iron Banner. So, this scout rifle starts with an attack of 248 since it is a legendary scout rifle. I think it looks pretty sweet. I like the way it looks with the Iron Banner logo and the gold coloring. It's a very nice looking weapon. Um, the rate of fire is kind of slow. Uh, it is a scout rifle though, so you don't, I don't really have a big problem with that. The impact is high and the range is very high. Stability is good and the reload is good. Magazine size is 16, that's pretty standard for all the scout rifles. It is just a kinetic damage weapon, so you don't get any type of burn from it. But it's still it's still a scout rifle, so it's still pretty good. Um, there's three sights, red dot sight, focus lens, and true sight. The first option, I actually re-rolled this. I bought it stock from uh, Lord Saladin, and I decided to re-roll it, just to re-roll it, just for fun. And so I got these perks re-rolled. It starts out with something I think you get missing a shot. I don't, I don't know what you get here, but I forgot. But over here was Firefly. I didn't really need Firefly, so I decided I'll switch it and I got Mulligan. So, missing a shot returns ammo directly to the magazine. Uh, it has the five le legendary damage upgrades. Then this skill tree, you can't really see it because my brightness is too bright. Let's look at this fix my brightness. So, screen brightness. Let's put it down to three. So, let's look back at Galen Demise. So you see the option tree we have right here, explosive rounds, volatile payload, explosive impact, dealing force weapon damage in the area. So basically this kind of is Firefly in a less less good way. <laughs> Lightweight, so when the, when the hell this weapon grants plus two character agility, that's kind of nice. That will kind of help it out when I'm just wearing it. Like I'm figuring this is going to be a weapon I'm going to do those precision bounties and I will hold it while I'm farming. So that would help out a lot, the lightweight, it'll make you move around quicker. Then the custom optics, I've never really tried that out, I don't have it on many of my weapons, so I'll be interested to see how that turns out. But then I got third eye when I re-rolled it, so my radar stays active while aiming down the sights, I really like that. Um, it's not a damage increase, but it's definitely, if you're using a scout rifle, you're going to be aiming down the sights a lot, so you won't see your radar. So that's really cool. Uh, again, as demise, you can see me holding it right here, it looks pretty cool. I, like I said, I like the way it looks. Turn the screen brightness back up because I want to be able to see these guys. Because we're going down to the darkness. Now, what I've started doing with my my weapon videos, my first looks and my max looks, is I'm going to do the daily on 28, which is the hardest difficulty you can do the daily on, and I am level 28, so I'm even with the enemies of this level. So let's see if we can find some. There's a really big ogre down here that I'm going to have to kill. Let's see, how, let's see what we can do to it. I'm going to take it out too quickly. And this gun is completely unleveled. Ooh, I just grenaded myself. So like I said, th these enemies are on level with me, so they're not going to be a cakewalk. That guy can probably mess me up. Let's see if we can get some headshots. Headshots? Come on, headshots. Boom, headshots. So, as you can see, even when you're on level and they're super hard enemies, you're still going to get one-shot kills with this. Boom. Boom. Now, they have, I think, a pretty easy one-shot kill. Oh, that's not bad. See, all right, of this knight will be a good comparison. Completely stock as a rock. I'm gonna kill a knight with it. Probably kill it pretty quick. Just get headshots. Ah, oh, he hit. Come here, buddy. Oh, one more shot, he's done. Boom. So, it's still effective. Ganon's Demise. 128 is still a very effective weapon. I love scout rifles because the hitboxes on the precision kills are really high. We go back here and dance on this guy. So, this has been Galen's uh, demise. I'm Lord Death from Above. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Lord Death from Above. No, I'm just Death from Above. Thanks for watching. You know what to do at the end of these videos. I always say, you know, do these things because it's what you do at the end of videos. So, I'm going to say, do the thing that you do at the end of these videos. You know what I'm talking about. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can send me kittens. That's what you do at the end of videos. Just send me kittens. But anyway, I'm Death Rebuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought. Leave me a comment. Come by my Twitch channel and chat about it. I will be there. So, until next time, Death Rebuff out! See you, bye.